cars are my passion and the fact that I am able to experience multiple different car cultures, it's, it's a blessing. <laughs> happiness. <laughs> Does that work? My name is Thomas and um, I own a fashion apparel business. It's called Oli. We're motorsports inspired apparel and of course you know with my passion with all the cars related I try to implement all that attention to detail onto what we do. The first car memory that I've ever had uh, it was back in 2008 you know with uh, just little money that I had uh, I was able to allocate myself a, a 1998 Integra GSR. I started with sound system, you know, very typical. You know, we talk about amplifiers and, you know, and that driving one-handed, you know, lower like that. You know, and just to look cool. Doing this process, you know, as, I was, as I'm learning from, you know, transforming from a sound system to performance parts, there was a lot of learning curve. I mean, you talk about the parts that you need or you don't need and the parts that you need, right? And so that's where it gets me. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. So that's where everything kind of begins and become alive for me. As a child, everything has been about details. And this is the part where I notice I can really just physically engage in, you know, back in the days when, when, when we had the Integra, we don't just, we don't go to shop. I mean, we don't have money. So we have to literally borrow people's garages. We try to do everything ourselves. That was the moment, you know, that was so fun. So with my car passion during that time period, man, it really definitely helped me a lot um, in terms of wanting to have something more. Not necessarily financially, but want to be something better. There's no definition for me as a perfect build, but as long that you can give me a perfect chassis or platform to start off with, and then from there, you slowly modify and build on the stuff that you need. And for me, same thing with, for example, my S2000. Um, I literally bought the car like spawn stock. And as I started going to the track, I started to push it, you know, zero counter. Like I was able to push it to a point where, you know what, I, now I want to slowly and get a little bit faster. I've owned that car for like eight years now. The only thing that's modded is AP brakes only in the front, uh, JRC suspensions, and then better cooling. And that's it, even the steering wheel is still stock. So that's what I'm saying, you know, for me, um, as a driver or as a, a car enthusiast, I only get the things that I need to perform better or to see the progression. That's me. Yeah. One of the biggest items uh, that definitely make a big difference is the tires. When it comes to daily driver, I mean, Sport Cup 2s is definitely the way to go. It gives me very good mechanical grip when it comes to any of my Porsche GT models. I mean, I can put enough miles, but at the same time, I can have fun and enjoy. And that's going to not only to make sure that you're safe, that, but the most importantly, it gives you smile and it gives you enjoyment. There's something about the 90s that always gets me. After I got my 993, that was like my dream car. That's where everything kind of clicked. And then like all of a sudden, the collection just starts spreading. That's where everything went crazy. The one fact that people actually don't know, I will never go into any dealership to test the car first. So all the cars that I get, I've never actually sat in there before. So that gives me all the surprises that I want. So for example, Hachiroku, you know, I mean, I would just, you know what? I like the car, get it. I'll be, oh my God, sitting in there for the first time. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. Like, so that, my point is, sometimes it's better to have no expectations because that gives you a very different perspective and happiness. That's where it gets me all the smiles. Most people, probably know me for Porsches. I'm a big Porsche fanatic and there are multiple reasons behind that. Of course, you know, talk about uh, German engineering. For me, Porsche from the past, it always has been that form. And for me as an industrial designer, as a designer myself, oh my goodness, the form, the clarity, right? 
it's just perfect. It's very, it's beyond elegance. They still have that silhouette. Another very important aspect is the color. You can see so much more personality in this particular brand. You know, we talk about how many uh, pin to sample colors that they've been coming out with, you know, since day one. At one point, I literally was trying to collect all the RS models only. Uh, I still have my 914.6, which is the uh, 1970 model, and then I have my 1973 Lalac Porsche 911S, and I still have my Ruby Stone Red 964 RS, and then I have the 2011 4.0. So for me, it's more about like the pinnacle, like the, the, the best product that's available for that particular car. Let's talk about the 918. I actually want to have that mid-engine collection. It starts with the 914. So when I have the 914 and then the CGT, eventually I'm like, you know what? The, only, the other car that's missing is, is the 918. So that's where I pull the trigger. I'm like, you know what? I want those three cars to sit alongside together of each other. And you know, for me to really see the progression of the history. It's one of those perfect cars that you can literally bring anywhere. And I, I actually joke around with my friends, like if the kids wants to get some McDonald's, I can still drive that car and get McDonald's. Like perfect. So let's talk about the GT2. Color, again, is very important. And I remember um, when this car became available, like literally landed, my friend reached out, do you want it? I'm like, what color is it? Signal green. <gasps> What's the color of the interior? Red. <gasps> so I was like, watermelon. <laughs> so that's actually the reason why I got it. Yeah, because again, it's, um, it's the most powerful, uh, most high performance. That's where I become obsessed and I'm like, you know what, I have to get it. And after I get it, day one, I start tracking it. Honestly, if, you know, for me, going back about, you know, having the performance and, you know, it, it's very important, but eventually it really comes down to driver, right? Because this is the part where it gets me the most is that when we were, uh, you know, doing time attacks, you know, back in the days. Whoever has the money technically win because they can buy a lot of expensive parts. But for me, why is spec race cars are so important and so complex? It's because it always has been about the driver. Everyone literally has the same tool, right? But then how you use it is different. For this year's car week, it's the same thing with all the works reunion. I mean, every year I see, even if I just see uh, the same car from last year or you know two years ago, still the smile. It just brings me smile. Like it's amazing. And I still remember two years ago when I first uh, came out with my son. Oh, I still have the pictures, but he was so happy. And the fact that we we're able to come back out here again, enjoy the environment and get to meet people and to be at a place where you get so much passion. I don't even think using the word exciting does the justice. There's so much love. It's amazing. My family really taught me how to cherish the moment. It doesn't matter if it's a bad experience or a good experience. Eventually, you should thank them both because it's what makes you who you are today. Again, you know, we only live once, so live your life. Know what makes you happy and learn, you know, self-love, right? And that's where it kind of, it will direct you to, to become a better individual. <laughs>